guys, Simcoder here, and today we are going to, first of all, ask you what you think of my new intro. If you like it or not, if you like the color scheme, I'm trying new stuff, so your feedback is really important to me. That being said, let's get right into the video, and today we're going to uh, learn how we can uh, get our location and continuously update it. So every second uh, we'll try to get the location again because we can be moving and such. So to let's open our Uber app and this is where we left off um, in the past in the, the last lesson. You can cut that and now let me just okay. And now we are going to implement some uh, functions. And to do that, we go in on top of the activity where it says where it says uh, public class driver map activity. And in the implements, we are going to put a comma and then Google uh, Google API client dot connection callbacks we're going to add another one which is google api client dot on connection failed listener and the location listener i'll explain what they do in in a second let's just add them all location listener there it is okay now click alt enter and implement methods, implement them all. And now we get a bunch of functions that are called in different uh, stages of the, um, when they are being used. So I'll go one by one and explain to you them all. So first of all, we need the unconnected. So, when the map is connected and the location is, has been requested, we are going to say, better yet, we are going to first of all create two variables. Three, actually. So, Google API Client and Google API Client. Then, of a, a location variable and last location and a location uh, location request what is it request and call it and lo location request Okay, uh, this isn't being recognized because we need to add um, a compile to the Gradle. So go to Gradle and add com dot google dot android dot gms that play services location 11.0.2 okay you think that okay now that that's done you can come here and import this class and now that's set and done so as i was saying the unconnected is when the map is called and everything is ready to start working so we are going to create a request to get the the location from second to second. So each second something is going to happen that we get our location. I'll explain that later. So for now, m location request equals to new location request. M location request dot set interval. And you can change this to what we you need 
but I'm going to choose one second. This uh, I, I have to input a, thou a thousand because it is a thousand milliseconds. That's made if, as I can remember. Basically, every coding uh, language works like this. So you must set it times a th uh, you must set the seconds time a times a thousand. Next, you're going to set the M location request dot set fastest interval and you can again put a thousand it doesn't really matter and then you're going to set the m location request dot set priority and this depending on the type of app that you are creating if it is not for a uber you can probably not choose the same as I'm going to choose, and I'm going to explain it now. Cheese, I'm, I'm choosing the priority high accuracy. This means that the accuracy that I'm going to get is somewhat exact. It, it is the best that the phone can handle. But the, the drawback from this uh, priority is that um, it drains a lot of battery and if you don't need that I'll probably advise you to drop down a bit and choose the a lower accuracy that's completely up to you for now we are going to choose this one now next you are going to use the location services services dot fused location API dot request location updates and you're going to input the variables that we created earlier so and Google API client and m location request comma this uh, what's the error oh. Here it isn't remove, it is request. Sorry about that. Hmm. It is still giving out an error. Let's just check in here. Maybe it's something to do with imports. Uh, okay, let's try brute fro force on this and maybe it will start to work. And let's try to add combat.google dot android dot gms dot location maybe that will trigger it uh, okay and that if that that error is is coming out uh, at this because we didn't add it to the import so it was giving out an error but it is easily uh, fixed Okay, so now, now that that's done, uh, we need to add this if, just to check if we, we have all the permissions. And to uh, the permissions uh, that you, you must add in the Android manifest are these ones. Uh, pause and copy that because you need to have them. Which is the access course location and access find location. I also have internet because that can be helpful. So now, now that it's done, these request location updates will uh, trigger the the refreshment of the of the the location. So this, if you don't call this. You only get the location once, but if you call it, it will refresh with an interval of a, a, a thousand milliseconds, which is the same as saying as one second uh, intervals. So now we are going to go into um, we are going to go into on map ready, and we are going to change it. We are going to add the m map dot set my 
location enable set to true and it needs the, the check again just to make sure that everything is uh, okay and we are going to add a, uh, a new function which is going to be the build google api client and this function has to be above the set my location enabled okay make sure it is above and now we are going to actually create that function protected synchronized void build locate uh, build google api client let's just dance there and now we are going to set the value of this location the end google api client which is called in here also so and this is going to validate our api client so we can say m google api client new equals new google api client uh, not like that sorry google api client trying to look i can find it so no problems uh, here it is dot builder this dot add connection callbacks dot uh, and this dot add connection fail listener dot uh, this dot add api locations location services dot api okay and then say build semicolon and m google api client dot connect and this will allow us to to use the this api so now that that's done the unconnected is done we are going to dive in uh, oops sorry it isn't here it is in the build google api client <laughs> was finding something a bit off so now we are going to go into the interesting part and it is the on location changed this is the function that will be called every second so this is uh, the on connected the build api client the on map ready it's just to are just functions to get everything ready in order to actually use the part of interest which is the on location changed so in here we are going to uh, give a value to the last location which is a variable that we have up here and it is of the type location so it is going to be my last location is going to be the equal to the location and the location is the the value that this function passes which is right here and now we can actually I'm going to show you some cool things that you can do with the um, Google Maps API. So let Langitude give it the same name equals new let Langitude location dot get latitude location dot get longitude. And we're, what we're going to try to do is to move the camera at the same pace that uh, with, with in which the the user moves so every time the user moves uh, the camera the center of the cam the the camera the center of the map will be the user so to do that we do mmap dot move camera camera update factory dot new latitude longitude and the latitude longitude of the location in which the user is in right now so and now we can actually try to spice things up, up a bit and we can animate the camera uh, when it actually changes the, the location so camera update factory dot
dot zoom to and let's say 11. You can play around with these indexes and different indexes give out uh, different types of zoom. I believe the smaller they are, the, close, the closer they are to um, uh, the, the ground. But I, can, I can't promise you that. I know for a fact that uh, this value goes from 1 to 21. So this is a middle ground. I believe it works fine for now. Um, so for now that's all. Let's just launch the app and see if it works. Okay. So now that that's finished loading, I'm just going to set uh, up um, a debugger right here, just so that you can see it actually uh, updating every second. So driver because that's where everything is and here we are just move them move that to the side okay now we are ready so let's continue and as you can see it is always updating every second it updates that that was our main goal So, yeah, that's all for now. Uh, in the next lesson, we are going to actually save the values of the current location to the, um, to the database. So, that is all for now. Thank you all very much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, ciao! California.